Celebrated playwright and director Moss Hart is coming back to life this spring in Lincoln Center Theater's Act One, based on the autobiography of the same name. We're here at Barnes & Noble to celebrate the re-release of the book with the stars of Act One, Santino Fontana and Tony Shalhoub. doing here today? What's up? We uh, read some excerpts of the new release of Act One, a new edition, uh, here at Barnes & Noble. What is it like having all your fans out here to come celebrate this today? It's fantastic. I mean, we're, uh, we're, talking, about, we're talking about Act One, which is going to be opening at uh, Lincoln Center uh, April 17th. We're in rehearsal now. This new edition of the book just came out, and a lot of, a lot of friends came out. What is it like having all these people coming out here to celebrate your dad today? Oh, I was, when I got here around six o'clock, and there were people already sitting down, and and it was hard to find a seat. I was so thrilled to see the excitement that's building for this wonderful book, and I can hear my dad's voice from the pages of the book. But uh, it sounds like uh, there are a lot of other people who feel the same way. The idea that um, our father's going to be introduced to uh, a whole new generation of, of hopefully people who may not have ever heard of him and, and, and reintroduced to people who already love him is, um, is really a, a great thing. Is there something about your dad that maybe people don't know that you can share with us? Just anything, you know, kind of fun or random? Well, he, you know, one of the things that, um, it comes out in this, in the, in the book and in the play, is that he he saw life, you know, differently than most people. He he made sort of uh, dramedy about the everyday, um, you know, the the people in his family. Um, he made them into characters who were larger than life, and that's what makes. Uh, great theater. Mosshart died over 50 years ago. Why do you think he's such a celebrated member of the theater community still? Anyone who loves theater will love, love the book. It's a classic American dream story where he was in, impoverished, he fell in love with the theater, and then was determined to be in it. And then he, you know, changed it. His story really is someone who had a passion for something and despite huge challenges, pursued it and was able to uh, be successful at it. It's a love letter to the theater, really, and to all people, all things theater. And um, so it's still, it's still very much a, a part of our whole community, and, and people love it. People have always loved it. I remember my mother reading this book when I was a kid, and I think generations forever will be reading this book and loving it.